What's going on friends? Sam Fred is back once again. We're going to have an epic unboxing today. I'm in China, in Wuhan specifically at the moment, and I've seen some prototype printers that are just about to become a reality, thanks to, well, Creality. So when Creality asked me to go to Wuhan and also to Shenzhen, I was a little bit worried about going to Wuhan for a number of reasons, but I didn't really quite understand exactly what they were wanting me to see here. But my God, this place is massive. <laughs> And we are back in the UK and the Inda 3 V3 SE a few weeks later has just finally turned up. I know it's a mouthful, but I wanted to show you one particular thing on this printer before I even get it out of the box. And that's this little sticker here, because this goes quite a long way towards quality control. Let me explain. The sticker affixed to both the packaging and the underside of your 3D printer serves as a permanent record of the product's entire life cycle. Within this sticker, you'll find a serial number and a QR code that provide precise information and details about the production batch and also the intended purposes of the product. Furthermore, it offers a comprehensive breakdown of the assembly process, including information on when and where it was assembled, who carried out the assembly, the subsequent testing and quality checks, all before the printers are subjected to a printing evaluation. So it's that QR code that's scanned as the printer progresses along the production line. It undergoes an inspection by the following assembly worker, who also scans it. This straightforward process serves as a robust quality control measure, preventing errors from carrying over from one stage to the next. If any issues are identified, they can be promptly rectified, ensuring a high level of production quality. After the assembly of these printers is complete, batch printing commences. Each printer undergoes a series of tests, with the initial one being a basic printing test, often involving a 3D printed Benchy model. However, the primary test focuses on evaluating the auto power off and recovery feature. During this test, the machines, of course, are switched off intentionally and then reset to resume printing, addressing the ability to recover the power loss interruptions. After this test, attention shifts to the print finishing process, which remains integrated with that machine. Following that, the printer proceeds to various other assessments, which may include dimensional accuracy and print quality evaluation often using children's toys as test prints. Notably, these printed items are then donated to schools across China. It's important to note that at any given time, there could be more than 100 printers actively engaging in printing within this section. To ensure the quality of the printed output, each bank of printers is overseen by a dedicated quality control supervisor. Their responsibility is to ensure that all preceding manufacturing steps result in successful and accurate prints, maintaining the highest quality standards throughout the production process. Now I'm sure you've seen quite a few of these being unboxed and I won't bore you too much with the details here but all of this stuff including the pom wheels and the belts are actually made in Wuhan. So in this factory Creality produces batches of 3D printers. So the batches that we could see while I was there were the Neos and the Ender 3 V3 SEs. This means that in other parts of the building there are people working on elements like building heated beds and in this shot you can see that they're resistance testing the beds before they go into the core assembly. Now while I am on the subject of making this video today is brought to you by PCBWay.com. Looking for all-in-one PCB manufacturing solutions? Look no further than PCBWay.com. Not only do they offer top quality printed circuit boards, but they also provide a wide range of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, injection molding, and laser cutting. With PCBWay.com, you can turn your ideas into reality. Explore their website today and bring your projects to life. 
www.pcbway.com. Brilliant people over at pcbway.com. I did get the chance to visit them when I was in Shenzhen as well. So hopefully sooner or later you'll see a video from them. And if you don't already subscribe, perhaps it's time to maybe hit that subscribe button because 85% of the audience currently that view these videos don't subscribe. So you'd be helping me out if you do hit that button. Let's get straight back into the end of 3v3 SE. Right, where was I? Well, one assumption that I had about Creality's operation is that they would source various printer components, such as pom wheels, belts, and even packing for the screws. However, my assumptions were incorrect. Creality have made significant investments in automation, covering a wide spectrum of parts throughout the manufacturing process. This strategic approach likely aims to optimize quality control, production efficiency, and minimizes potential for errors that can occur in the manual handling. Over the long term, though, of course, these investments in automation can lead to substantial savings, therefore reducing labor costs, increasing production throughout, and enhancing product consistency and quality. The manufacturing staff have an established process, and my interference with the process probably wasn't as amusing to them as it was me. So that's the process, and if you've got any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section down below. Let's get in and actually look at this printer. So the printer is now all set up. That's the end of 3v3 SE. But unfortunately, the USB stick and the SD card is actually missing from my package for one reason or another. Everything else seems to be there. But the good news is that if I do go over to Creality Cloud, all the information and files are downloadable from there. So well, let's just do that now, shall we? Welcome to Creality Cloud. This is the centralized hub for all your downloadable software, firmware, 3D models, contest support, and guides. Previously, you've had to hunt high and low on links on GitHub and sift through outdated, fragmented information scattered online. Now it's all in one place, designed for a seamless user experience. The missing SD card isn't a new experience for me, and upon closer inspection, it appears that the package has been opened by customs, which could also explain the longer delivery time. The good news here though, however, is I can easily download all the necessary software, and if I need it, the latest firmware for my new 3D printer. The primary focus here centers around the slicing software, Creality Print. This is Creality's proprietary slicing software, essential for converting downloadable .stl files into the .gcode format required for 3D printing. I highly recommend starting with this software because it comes pre-configured for your printer, making it an excellent launching point for your 3D printing journey. Downloading is pretty straightforward and as a primary Mac user, I've appreciated that Creality offers both versions for Windows and Apple devices. After obtaining the correct Creality print software, you'll find an extensive selection of printer options. Within the Creality Cloud, of course, you can discover a vast collection of 3D models, including both paid for and free models. The downloading process is typically hassle-free, allowing you to effortlessly drag and drop .stl files directly into the software. The model here is the Zo Ghost, which was actually very popular last year for Halloween. So in the words of Ben, it's boy in space, I'll download the model, import it to my slicer, set it to 200% and then send it to my printer. Incidentally, a couple of extra steps here though, of course, where I copy the file to the SD card, select it on my printer and then start the print. This is the results. This print was completed in just under three and a half hours, achieving a reasonable slice max print speed of 150 millimeters per second with a nozzle temperature of 205 and the bed temperature of 60. The good quality really becomes evident when you consider that the Ender 3 V3 SE is available for just $199 or £189. We've seen the evolution of reasonably priced Corex Wildstyle printers lately, and it's easy to be impressed by this iteration of the Ender 3. Having sold more than 1 million units since 2018, I definitely confidently say that Creality is back on top in the realm of the best budget 3D printers. That of course wasn't the only print that I tried. The good old Chep Cube and the Fix and Doof Pavement Princess Jeep were also up next. Sliced again with Creality Print on their stock profiles, which were pretty good, but could do with a little bit of tweaking. I did get one layer shift on one of the prints due to the nozzle catching the print, but the print did finish, and this was basically due to a blob. I reprinted the file and it was absolutely fine. The overall experience has been good, and spec-wise, and considering the price and build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 and the max speed of being 250 millimeters per second with the acceleration of 2500 millimeters squared the sprite style hot end direct drive and max temperature of 260 degrees i would suggest that this printer is a decent first time buy putting this together was actually easier than the original ender 3 as you don't need to build the gantry the color screen update was a nice touch and sooner or later the sonic pad will be teamed up with this so if you fancy a bit of clipper firmware on your printer well then you have choices the bed leveling and some changes that you're able to make from the menu are brilliant and we now appear to be able to pid tune both the bed and the hot end along with e-step calibration i found that the flexible bed though wasn't really my favorite but you can upgrade that later on down the line i just want to repeat the point on the auto bed leveling my readings on the print bed 
Well, actually really, really good and within a fraction of each other. So uh, slightly lifted to the um, front right, but overall that's pretty damn amazing. So if you're new and printing PLA, TPU and PETG, well, then you might have just found the printer for you and it is a very good deal. My affiliate links are down below in the description and let me know in the comments if you do end up buying one of these. So we've come this far with the Ender 3 V3 SE, but I wanted to show you this little bit of extra footage on some of the quality control measures that Creality go to. Check this out. So this is the drop test. This is an Ender 3 V3 SE. We're going to do the drop test on that. And what will happen afterwards is this machine will go into the lab and then it's going to be tested. Oh. What, you think that's it? Check this out. So this is the vibration test. And again, I had no idea that Creality goes to extreme lengths with machines like this to test their products. And obviously once this has been tested, it'll be unloaded and then it goes into the testing facility to essentially be analyzed to see if there's any damage to the printer. So of course, it's not every single printer that's basically dropped and shaken to death and then delivered to you, of course. It's at one or two in each and every single batch that they produce. But it isn't just one drop test. Check this out. <laughs> Then all those batches of printers are then sent to a lab just like this one and tested for a number of days to see what kind of results they get after dropping them. So the reason, of course, that they do all this is to ensure by the time it's gone from China, loaded and unloaded into several vans and lorries, into containers, it's then shipped across the world, shipped to another depot, probably unloaded there, and before long, loaded into a UPS, a FedEx or a DPD van, and then delivered to your door. They want to ensure that you still get the products that they've made at the factory. Obviously, hopefully, fingers crossed, by the time you get it to your home. So we've got tons more footage. We've actually got 10 days worth of footage that we shot when in China, in both Wuhan, Shenzhen. We've got the CR10 uh, SE. We've got the K1 videos. We've got tons and tons of stuff. Also, uh, 3D scanners, lasers, all kinds of other crazy stuff that's coming out from Creality. So don't forget, like and subscribe. Comments go in below, and my affiliate links are also in the bottom as well. Thank you once again to the guys at Creality, Scott, who did a lot of the recording, and also Selma and the people from Creality. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, have a great day. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.